All right, we're working on the distributive. I spell it wrong. Distributive property of division. I'm going to abbreviate division. That's the property we're working on. Now, the first one we're going to do is what did I say? 84 divided by 7. Now, what they'll have you do is they'll have you make on a piece of grid paper or on this, this is 7 deep. Everything here is 7 deep. The total is, this is something I like to do, is 84. So we can go by 10s to start with, 5s, whatever we're comfortable with, multiplying by 7, as long as we don't go above 84. Uh, in class, what we should, should we go by? What do you think? 10s? Okay, so 7. And we go by 10s. So if we go over 10, 7 times 10, what is it? 70. 70. So that's going to be a lot of it. Okay, that's 70. But we went over 10. Okay, that's important. Let's go ahead and circle so that's part of our answer. Now, 7 times 10. So what's 84 minus 70? Raise your hand if you think you know. 84 minus 70. You bring the 4 down, it's 8 minus 7, so it's a 1 and a 4. What do you think it is? Yell it loud. 14. 14, good job, Paige. So that's 14. So we can put the 2 right here. So 84 divided by 7 is 10 plus 2. Anybody got an answer for that one? Uh, Josh? 12. 12. So it equals 12. What Another way they're going to try and do it is... Um, Break up your number. Break up your answer. So 84, break it into, is the same as 70 divided by 7. Put it in parentheses you do it first. Plus, what? 14 divided by 7. And so you get 10 plus 2. It equals 12. Those are both part of the distributive property of multiplication. Now, we put these in here to make sure that both our answer, these together, should equal 84 also. That's another way we can double check ourselves. All right, we can do one more. If I can find the eraser. Okay, we'll do one more. Okay, one more for the distributive property of multiplication. Uh, we can do one we previously did. Um, 68 divided by 4. Now, we did 68 divided by 4. Now, a couple things we did as a class to begin with is... Uh, is ready? made our box. Now we didn't make it as tall, but we made it longer because it's only four. So we write four. You can draw four here. If you want to, you can do it on actual grid paper and make it right, and you just do four, and you just go groups of four. You can count to 68. Or what we did was we weren't comfortable with doing uh, 20 because we knew that four times 20 is 80 because we know our multiplication facts, but four times 10. In class, what was four times 10? 40. 40. And so we just, you know, assumed that would be about this far over. And so that was 10. We circled it. I'm, having, I'm going to have them circle it so they know what's going on. Now, 68 minus 40. You may have to write it off to the side, which is fine. You can use all the paperwork you want for this property. 8 and 6 minus 4 is 2. So that's 28. So this is 28. You know what it is. Now you think, okay, it's a simple fact. What's 28 divided by 4? Anybody, raise your hand. Cup. Um, seven. Seven, perfect. So you circle it. These are the two you add. Make sure these equal 68. What do you do? 10 plus 7? Seven. 17. So what they're trying to tell you is you can do, uh, you can take everything divided by 4, break up into these. 40 divided by 4 plus 28 
divided by 4. You just do that. That's 10 and 7. 10 plus 7 equals 17. So that would be your answer. That's how the distributive property works. Any questions? Okay, we're going to turn it off.